Okay, we're in the second step of creating our word guessing game. We've already created an array to hold the potential answers and generate a random number to pick a word from the array. So in this step, we need to determine how many letters need to be guessed to win the game. We need to set how many guesses the user is allowed. We need to display an underscore for each letter in the word to be guessed. And we have to bring this, break the string answer apart and store it as an array of letters. So let's look at how we did this. Now, typically, I will do all of my variables together in one place. And as you'll remember, in the last step, we set the array for the answers. We picked a random number. We set the variable answer to the game at whatever index choice was picked. And then we set the length to answer.myLength, which will count the letters in the word answer. We've set display equal to my length because the display is going to go right here. We're going to put in an underscore for each word. I've already created a win equals my length because they have to guess that many letters correctly in order to win the game. And then we have a variable letters, which equals the answer dot split. And what this does is it calls, creates an array called letters taken from answer and it splits it into a separate ver um, character array so each character is at an index. The attempts left, you have 10 chances to guess letters. I just randomly assigned that. I decided 10 was what I wanted for my game. You could put 26 if you want to allow them to check each letter in the alphabet. You make it as hard or easy as you want. I've set output equal to nothing. Output is going to be how I display this. And then the user letter is what I'm going to obtain from this spot here when the user clicks guess. So when I load my program by loading the page, all I do is call setup. Now I could have put this down here, but I prefer just to call and make it a little bit more organized. But the code could have gone in the onload function and it would have worked identically. I just think it's a little cleaner and easier for me to follow when I put it in a setup function. So when I first enter the program, I want you to notice that all of these are outside any of the functions. So they are a global scope. They can be used these variables can be used in any function I create. The function I have here and the function I'm going to create when they click the guess button. So initially I'm going to do a loop to work with my array and it's very common to use for loops when working with a, an array. So I've got my for loop where I've declared a variable i stands for integer and it is a common variable used by most programmers. i equals zero while i is less than the answer dot, answer dot length, so the length of the answer, i plus plus. We're going to split, set the display array at the index of i to equal an underscore and a space. We're going to set output to equal itself plus the display i. So we'll string these together and as you can see we get blank lines here. Then we're going to use the document get element by id game, which is this h3 text area equals output. And then I have to reset output to nothing because we don't want to keep adding on to it when we get into the next section. Because in the next section, we're going to be replacing the letters as their guest. So this is step two where we display the letters to be guessed on the screen.